sip the sin. Hi there guys, well in Luke 12, 11 to 12 and in Luke 21 uh, verse 12 it speaks about great persecution and um, the fact that the rulers in the synagogues and in different places would actually um, hand his people up to be persecuted and uh, the false Christians today would like us to think that Jesus was only speaking to the Jewish people which of course he was but more importantly than that he was actually speaking to his followers within the Jewish people and uh, these rats they go around YouTube and they have their big YouTube channels and then they misinterpret God's word so deliberately with so much charisma and these people are actually commissioned as missionaries as well um, in different nations it shows you the depravity of the churches today that are actually prepared to send reprobates um, to different countries to tickle people's ears and um, I guess to inflate egos about um, feeding the poor and things like that and uh, and then these people to be actually um, suffering because of, of poor teaching because of bad biblical teaching and these commandments are not being taught in any area of the world today only um, are these commandments actually being observed and taught by those who are actually commissioned to do it and um, unless these commandments have been actually revealed to you through the Holy Spirit then I believe you're just um, I'm not saying you're wasting your time but uh, these people are kind of throwing out grain um, it's like it's got some good seed and it's got some bad seed today um, obviously the world seed supply is um, GMO um, specified and it's um, mixed with true seed and it's like that with the word of God today um, what we have is um, some people are sowing um, real seed, natural seed uh, in the earth which the, you know the countries that haven't been contaminated by the, the chemtrails and um, they're having a relatively normal diet but as we examined before there's a higher death rate in the developed countries today and that is because in the developed countries they're using GMOs and it's now it's now causing I would say um, an actual a fair percentage um, being added to the death rate because of these GMOs and of course these companies who are godless know that it's killing people but it's because that there is such a lack of the knowledge of God and the love of the truth that these people are getting, literally getting away with murder and as we've discussed many times before putting aborted baby fetuses inside of um, some food products such as PepsiCo and who knows, um, some big companies um, is it Darko I think it is and Serco possibly um, using human genetics to actually engineer a cyborg army um, which which is um, sort of bringing all these um, Terminator movies um, totally um, into fulfillment and um, I believe also um, it's written in Revelation 13 um, about the mark of the beast being a computer chip and um, it's amazing that there's, there, there's actually been technology dug up as I said one of these um, was actually Napoleon Whose, whose skull was actually dug up for scientific research and they actually found a computer chip inside I think it was either his skull or was in one of his hands um, and that was Napoleon who obviously died several hundred years ago um, trying to unite Europe um, just as Hitler tried to do so it, it, obviously Satan has been trying to do these things for a number of years now but it seems that this time of course we are at the end of the age and God is going to allow these things to happen and um, during that time is going to be great persecution for the saints and as Jesus told us beforehand that I expect to be actually handed over to rulers know that if you follow Jesus correctly keep his commandments continually um, live by them and even if you can uh, teach them then you will get severe persecution and that's, that's happened basically since the very start since um, Christ ascended into heaven um, all these things were um, predicted and prophesied by our Lord and by the Apostle Paul 
um, whose whose writings again are very very misinterpreted. Um, so um, I hope this has been an encouragement to you. It's not very nice to know that um, you know your own um, kindred, your own um, husband or wife or mother or children um, have an enmity, have a, a desire to uh, um, basically see you dead, and um, that's what basically persecution is. People don't like hearing the word of God, and they would rather these people weren't alive. And it's quite amazing that um, uh, it does say this in the Bible as well, that by our words we can sow life or we can sow death. And it's very, very important about the words we say. And that's why, you know, my backup channel is actually a praise and worship channel. Because um, I want to fill YouTube with as much praise and worship material as possible for the saints. And... Um, Praise the Lord um, for again Sister Rhonda and for um, uh, for Sherry who's who, who's still um, in Arizona I believe and uh, praise the Lord for for these believers and um, you know we just got to keep in prayer and that uh, Yahweh is very very zealous uh, to hear our prayers and uh, but we should also um, consider um, the words of Jesus Christ and that we know it's going to be a rapture. But we should always be prepared then um, to die for our faith. And I think Sherry's testimony is very powerful about being inside a mental institution, put in there by her own family, and now knowing that the, the spirit in these people is not the Holy Spirit operating within them. And I would rather see Sherry suffer, their own daughter or their own wife suffer in a mental institution, rather than actually themselves conform themselves to the Word of God themselves actually um, uh, raise their game and uh, stop stop the, the silliness uh, and the stupidity about um, doing that to their own child but of course the spirit within them will not allow them to, to actually recognize what they're actually doing um, and it's, it's very very sad that these things actually take place on the earth and, and we as Christians of course would rather you know help uh, those who are weak in society those who are basically ready to die, uh, we, we would rather help these people and um, bless them and um, put our hands in their own, own pocket and, and basically help these people to prosper even though they don't want to give the thanks and glory to God, even though um, they, they couldn't give a, a hoot about um, Jesus Christ or um, keeping his commandments or giving him thanks and praise every day. We as Christians would still rather these people um, lived and um, you know just had that chance to basically um, give some thanks and to glorify their God. Um, but uh, these people, of course, um, they they are following uh, these principalities and powers which um, want to persecute Christians now. They voted for them in office, um, and they're very aware. That um, in doing so and persecuting Christians as the government wants you to, that um, they'll probably, there's a good chance they might keep their house, they might keep some food, some GMO food in their bellies, but at the end of the day, you know, the man of perdition is going to catch them all up and they're about to be destroyed. And I can tell them that right now, all the people that are persecuting Christians, that are doing um, spells even against Christians, they're doing witchcraft against Christians. They'd rather see their own mothers or their own children in mental institutions or in hospitals or in wherever else in prison rather than actually listen to what they're actually saying. Then I just give the glory and thanks to God that, you know, of course, I don't have so many subscribers or hits on my uh, YouTube videos. Um, I give the thanks and glory to God because it's surely fulfilling prophecy in the fact that Paul said there'd be a great falling away from people wanting to hear the truth and to give God glory in the last days it really rattles these cages when we speak the word of God and that's exactly what they're in, they're in cages they're actually servants to their sin servants to their lust servants to the, the, the lust of this world which is money, which is power which can be um, sexual lust as well and um, all of us are susceptible of course to these spirits around us but it's very very important just to hear the words of Jesus and um, truly, when we are being persecuted, know that we're actually on the right path, we're on the right track, and that these demons, um, wherever they come from, 
um, truly that the word of God that Jesus Christ will not allow them to have such power over us even though they might come to us and test us from time to time so um, we give thanks for, for um, the Lord's grace and we give him glory today and of course I'll list the scriptures I was speaking about on the screen for you to do your own reading of them may the Lord bless you and